Welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Today I will be demonstrating the scroll pane component in Flash. So to get us started, we're going to create an ActionScript 3 document. Then I'm going to go to Window, then Components, and drag out the scroll pane. And once that's on the stage, we're going to select it, go to Properties, we have an instance name of S Pane, and we're also going to change the width to 500 and the height to 360. I'm just going to position that on the stage. And once that's done, we can start creating content that's going to be displayed within that scroll pane today. So I'm going to, for our content, I'm just going to zoom out so that we can see it. Zoom out to 50%. And then I'm going to create a rectangle um, as the background of our content. And it needs to, I'm just going to select it. We're going to make it have a black fill. And we need to make sure that the width is set to 500 pixels. And once that's done, um, basically anything that we um, put long ways um, will show up in the scroll pane because you can just scroll down to get to it. So it just needs to be equal to the scroll pane in width, and then you should be okay. So I'm just going to drag this down a little bit to give us a little more room to work with. And for today, um, the content that I've chosen is going to be um, like a, an article. So I have, uh, we're going to drag out a text box over this, and then I have some text that I'm going to paste into here. Um, that it's like its default text. It's called lorem ispum text, and you basically use it whenever you want to mock up something, but you don't have actual text to use for it. So for this purpose, it's pretty good. So I'm going to zoom back into 100% because for some reason, Flash decides that it only wants to show part of the text when you're zoomed in or zoomed out to 50%. So we'll zoom back in so that we can do the next part, which I'm going to take some images, and uh, let's just pretend this article is about um, some of the Adobe programs. So we're going to import some um, pictures to the library, some icons. So I'm just going to open those up. I'm going to drag them out. And we're going to space them out a little bit. I have them all selected currently. Okay, so that's pretty good spacing, so I'm just going to select them all, go to Window, Align. We're going to get them all top-wise and then distribute their uh, centers horizontally. And now I can just position those wherever I want, and those can be at the end of our article. So I'm just going to close that up, and now what we need to do is I'm going to zoom back out, and we need to select the entire um, box here, and we need to make it into a movie clip. And here you can see where I was talking about the text disappears, but if you zoom back in, it's right there. So we selected the entire thing, now we need to hit F8, turn it into a movie clip, and I'm just going to call it My Text, and we'll say OK. Then we need to give it an instance name of My Text, and there we go. So now that we've done that, we can start linking this. So I'm going to um, go to the timeline, go to the first frame, and then go to Actions. So now we need to link this by going to, we're typing an S pane, which is our instance name, that source, space equals space, and then our name of my text, and then a semicolon. So now um, I think we're good for right now, so we need to do control test movie. And as you see, it will scroll, and it'll work just fine. But the problem is um, we have a little bit of an issue here. Um, I don't want a horizontal thing because we set it up so that it's exact. But what we forgot to take into account was that this scroll um, bar basically is a certain number of pixels and that is going over the top of some of our content and so that's forcing it to move over. So um, I figured out um, from just using this before that that is 16 pixels wide. So if we wanted to, we can go to S pane dot set size, open parenthesis, and then we need it to be 516 by 360, and then a semicolon. And now that should erase the problem there. As you as you can see here, it has uh, pushed the box over, and now the content works fine, and it doesn't have a horizontal bar, and you can scroll through. You see our images at the bottom. Now, there's one more thing that you're going to want to do, probably. Um, if you take and were to delete this movie clip off the stage and then did control test movie, then it would no longer work and it would freak out. So what you're going to want to do is go to library and then on your my text um, movie clip, you're going to right click, 
go to properties and then you're going to go to advanced and you're going to click on this export for action script and make sure that the class is my text because that's the instance name we gave to it then when you click OK and then click OK again then you can run it without actually having it on the stage and as you can see it works perfectly fine so the scroll pane is a really good component um, it allows you to take and put a lot of content into a small area and maximize the space that you're going to have um, on screen or in your document so um, I hope you guys learned something about the scroll pane uh, don't forget to subscribe rate and comment and I'll have a new component for you tomorrow thanks for watching